What is good y'all and welcome back to my channel. The movie I'm reviewing today is currently available for free streaming on Amazon Prime and Tubi. There will not be any spoilers in this video. Pieces of April is written and directed by Peter Hedges and stars Katie Holmes, Derek Luke, and Patricia Clarkson. It takes place and was filmed in the early 2000s and is taking place in two different places, in New York City and a road trip for, for a family to New York. Now in New York, uh, April, the outcast of her family, the person who's always been unreliable that you can't trust, left home early, all that, got into drugs, tattoos, piercing, family doesn't trust that she can do anything right. She's chose to make Thanksgiving dinner for her family and she's done this for a very noble cause. This could be her last uh, family Thanksgiving together with her family because her mother is sick. Now of course she runs into all types of obstacles in trying to make Thanksgiving dinner perfect for her family. Now on their way to her is her family. Now they're probably coming from like I would say upstate New York, uh, New England area. It's about a four, I guess they made about a four or five hour drive. Now on this car ride we learn about all the family, all the, all the characters in the car. Not only about them but how they feel about April and how they think this Thanksgiving is going to go. So dad is more laid back than any other character. His wife's going through an illness, so he's trying to be supportive of her. But you can tell he loves his daughter and he's very hopeful that everything is going to work out. He's the most optimistic of everyone in the car. The brother is just kind of laid back and just kind of enjoying the ride, enjoying the moment as a young teenage kid would. April's sister is a goody two-shoes and you can tell her and April clashed as kids. She was the type of girl that probably snitched on April a lot anytime she did anything bad to get her in trouble. She's that type of character. Grandmom's in the car. She's slipping into senility which is kind of funny and how that plays off with the other characters. And mom who is played by Patricia Clarkson who does a fantastic job in this movie is very cynical She's slightly, she has a 1% chance of hope because she's just trying to enjoy every moment of her life, trying to carry and hold on to memories. But she's ultimately cynical about April because April has always let her down. April has always been a problem child and she's not hopeful that anything is going to work out. Thankfully, April back in New York has a loving and supportive boyfriend named Bobby who is played by uh, Derek Luke. And as I mentioned, someone that has always been thought of to do the wrong thing, make a lot of mistakes in life, it's not as easy as just doing the right thing. Naturally, the universe is going to put obstacles in your way. Um, what I love about this movie, it is a very, very character-driven movie. Character and story are the foundation of any movie, and this does both of those perfectly. And the movie's only 80 minutes long, which you know I like. And it manages to allow you to get to know all these characters intimately well, especially April. And as I mentioned, we get most of that through dialogue, through the family on their road trip up there. My favorite character in the movie, though, is Bobby, um, April's boyfriend. He knows they're two imperfect people. They're, you know, not making a lot of money. They're living in New York just trying to make it. But you can tell they have love and they have a great bond together. They're they're two very, you know, awkward type people, but they're meant for each other. And whether they're going to last forever, who knows, but this is the perfect time for them in their lives. And Bobby is so supportive of April. He knows what her family thinks of her and he knows that she's going to be doubting herself and even that her family's even going to show up for uh, Thanksgiving. And not only does he want to make sure the day goes perfect for her, he also wants to set a good impression for her family. But you can tell he's so caring, he's so uh, loving and supportive of her and knows exactly who she is. They're, they're a young couple in their early 20s and they're attracted to each other. They got good chemistry, good compatibility, good communication. Um, all the things you need for a uh, good relationship. Also, I love the way the movie is shot. It's very low budget. I think it, I looked it up, it was around $300,000. So it's shot all handheld. But nonetheless, all the actors in the movie are very good. And the side characters 
are a driving force in the movie as well. New York is a melting pot, different uh, backgrounds, different cultures, different ethnicities, religions, etc. And all these live within uh, the apartment building and April encounters them. And it's very organic. It's not forced. It makes sense in New York that you would have a good mixture of characters uh, like this. And it, like I said, it's shot in handheld, so it's a low budget film. It's shot very indie, independent style, but all good acting. And the fact that you have established actors in this movie proves that it's a great script and a great screenplay. Anytime you see big name actors in a low budget movie, it says something about the film itself. You have Patricia Clarkson and Oliver Platt who played the mom and dad and they're very seasoned, been around the block actors. Katie Holmes and Derek Luke were on the come up at the time. Derek Luke had just got done Antoine Fisher. So it, they did it for the art of it because it's a great story. It's a loving story and it's about family. Now, like any family, you love each other, but you also get on each other's nerves and the movie captures those emotions perfectly. And you know, the characters that doubt April, the characters that are hoping for the best for her. It, you get to know everyone so well, like I said, in a short period of time. And you also get like a nice little touch of New York in there. For a low budget movie where they probably couldn't afford to shoot around New York, it does a great job. The music is very simple. It feels like it was, uh, done on a ukulele very simple basic mu music but the song one april day that bookends the movie um is absolutely perfect i i love it i can relate to so many of the different characters in this movie i'm the laid back brother in the back of the car just happy to be along for the ride uh, if I was a dad, I could totally see myself being like the dad in this movie. Despite what my daughter did, I love her. And I'm going to, you know, know that she's going to do the right thing when she needs to do the right thing. And I love Bobby. Um, his relationship with April kind of reminds me of a past relationship I had in my 20s. Just two people that are a little bit out there, but we kind of get each other. And that's the main thing. And he, his love and support for her is, to me, the driving force of the movie. And the movie has such a loving and sweet ending I it's just I don't want to ruin it but it's it's a perfect ending I'll just say that Every, you know and like any good movie you're rooting for the protagonist despite the fact that they're flawed this is a perfect little movie to watch on Thanksgiving I absolutely recommend it I'm someone on Thanksgiving I of course watch football and I watch The Godfather but I discovered this movie a couple years ago and I always like to watch it on or around Thanksgiving. It's just a warm family movie and it just shows, listen, all families were all, are they're all imperfect, but you know, the important thing is you're there for each other when you need to be. You know, my family, I get on their nerves, they get on my nerves, but anytime one of us is in a time of need, were there to do the right thing. If they need somebody to listen, if they need somebody to hug, if they need somebody to talk to, you're always there for them. And that's what this movie uh, does so well. It just shows off family and just that undying love. And again, you got great side characters in there, great mixture and group of personalities. Please check out the movie if you haven't seen it. If you have, let me know uh, what you thought of it, guys. Thank you so much for joining me today. I greatly appreciate your time. Y'all take care. Be well and have a great rest of your day.